Hi, my name is Susan Dick and I'm a PhD student at the Innovative Molecular Materials Group in Queen's University, Belfast. Today, the detection and characterization of DNA is still at the forefront of many disciplines, including forensic science and disease diagnostics. Current methods are highly effective, yet have significant drawbacks in terms of cost and the complex chemistry involved. Recent work at Queen's University Belfast has developed a method of label-free detection of DNA components using Raman spectroscopy, a technique that involves low cost, minimal sample preparation and rapid analysis. So in terms of understanding Raman spectroscopy, spectroscopy is the study of light interacting with matter. The Raman part comes from photons of energy that are scattered from the molecule in a way that there is an energy transfer between the two. Detecting these photons gives us a unique fingerprint of the molecule in the form of a spectrum. Imagine our beach ball is the molecule with the outside being its electron cloud. The apple will act as our photon. The photon is fired from the laser and comes into contact with the molecule, distorting the electron cloud around it. This state is not stable, and as the apple bounces off the beach ball, the molecule kicks the photon out in a similar fashion. What we actually measure is the difference in energy between the photon coming in and the photon coming out, and this is what gives us our signal in our spectrum. However, only one in every million photons behaves in this way, and so we need a means of enhancing the signal. To overcome sensitivity issues, Surface Enhanced Raman Spectroscopy, or SIRS, is used. By adding roughened metal nanoparticles to our analyte, the molecules bind to the surface of the metal. These nanoparticles are then brought in close proximity of one another, creating hotspots where signals can be enhanced by up to a factor of a million. When it comes to using metal nanoparticles, there is some ambiguity as to what is actually happening on the surface. In solution, they are known as colloids and are surrounded by salts such as citrate, which has its own SERS spectrum, and this spectrum actually changes depending on the pH. This could be because of the way it orientates itself in relation to the metal surface, or if the acid groups are protonated. My initial experiments are to try and understand what is happening at the surface, and this will further help common mistakes that might happen in SERS analysis. Bringing you to the main focus of my research. Detecting modifications in DNA is of high value as when our DNA replicates incorrectly, significant problems can arise. We are currently detecting 8-nitroguanine, a current marker for inflammation with potential for use in detecting certain types of cancer. Early results are looking promising and future work will extend to analysis of biological samples as well as other modifications. So that's a bit about my project. As you can see, I'm in the middle of it right now, so I better get back to it. Thanks for listening. Yeah, I forgot. <laughs> oh yes, <laughs> okay, I've got it.